Hello, this is Tony Heller from RealClimateScience.com. Marcus Tullius Cicero said, To be ignorant of what occurred before you were born is to remain always a child. Which is why propagandists frequently rely on children. They have no historical perspective to compare propaganda versus reality. According to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, temperatures in Nebraska have risen more than 1.6 degrees Fahrenheit since the beginning of the 20th century. And they're projecting historically unprecedented warming for Nebraska during this century. On that same webpage, NOAA shows a very large decline in the number of 100 degree days in Nebraska over the last 90 years. And NOAA also shows a sharp decline in the number of warm nights in Nebraska since the 1930s. Their graphs are inconsistent with their claim that Nebraska is warming rapidly. Now let's look at where their claim of 1.6 degrees warming came from. The red line shows NOAA's measured temperature data from Nebraska. It shows the average of all of the thermometer data for Nebraska from the United States Historical Climatology Network. The thermometer data shows that temperatures in Nebraska have declined sharply over the last 90 years. But the thermometer data is not what NOAA publishes in their graphs of Nebraska temperatures or any other location in the United States for that matter. NOAA massively alters the thermometer data for the temperature maps and graphs which they release to the public. The purple line is their adjusted data which shows a strong warming trend that does not actually exist in the thermometer data. What NOAA does is they massively cool the past to create the appearance of a non-existent warming trend. This graph shows the alterations which NOAA is making to the thermometer data. You can see that they're making about 1.6 degrees of data alterations. All of the 1.6 degrees of claimed warming for Nebraska is due to data tampering by government agencies. Now let's take a look at what they're doing. This graph is the same as the last graph, but instead of plotting the year along the x-axis, I've plotted atmospheric carbon dioxide. It's very apparent what they're doing. As the amount of carbon dioxide increases in the atmosphere, the amount of data tampering they're doing is increasing as well. They want to show that carbon dioxide produces warming. The data doesn't support that idea, so they alter the data to match their theory. What these government employees are doing is the exact opposite of science. In science, theories are adjusted to match the data, but at government agencies, the data is altered to match the theory. And it's bad enough that they're doing this, but they don't put any disclaimers on the graphs they release to the public. People see government temperature graphs and think that they're looking at thermometer data, when in fact they're not. The reality is that Nebraska has cooled about one degree over the past century. The government projections of unprecedented warming in Nebraska are not based on science. They're nothing more than propaganda. Let's take a look again at their graph of observed number of warm nights. You can see that nighttime temperatures were very warm in Nebraska during the 1930s, and particularly in 1936. On July 25, 1936, the low temperature at Lincoln, Nebraska was 91 degrees. Students at the University of Nebraska had to sleep outside because it was much too hot to try to sleep in the dormitory. I'm guessing with temperatures in the 90s, they didn't get a lot of sleep outside either. We see the same pattern of massive data tampering by government agencies all over the United States. In 1999, NASA showed that the United States had cooled sharply since the 1930s. This was the exact opposite of the trend which climate alarmists predicted. So NASA did just what you'd expect them to do. They altered the data to turn a cooling trend into a warming trend. Their 1999 graph was an accurate representation of the thermometer data. But their current graphs represent nothing more than propaganda. These graphs are designed to confuse the public into believing that the burning of fossil fuels has caused temperatures in the United States to rise. But there's no truth to that. This is calculated government misinformation. Toto's been pulling back the curtain on this massive scam for the past 14 years. You can visit him, Kyrie, Caesar, Tokianupala on the web at realclimatescience.com.